it's a protein sound wave, the characteristic of sound wave. Uh, the sound wave is caused by the vibration. Okay, vibration, uh, actually there are so many sorts of vibration. Okay, the vocal cord or anything that you move it and then it repeated moving, it also can cause a vibration and produce sound. Okay, any vocal cord. Characteristic of sound wave. Uh, first, the sound cannot travel through vacuum. And the second one, uh, sound wave can be reflected. It can be absorbed. It uh, can travel through, it can travel through solid, liquid and gases. Okay, first, sound requires medium to transfer. So, so here, as you can see, uh, the, the solid, liquid, gas and vacuum, the arrangement of particles in solid, liquid, gas and vacuum. Sound energy is transferred through vibration of particles in the form of wave. So the particles in solid, liquid, gas, they helps the sound to transfer. So uh, in vacuum, there's no particles, so the sound cannot be transferred. That's why you cannot hear sound in vacuum. Okay? If no medium, so no sound can be heard. Okay, this is the sound wave. Okay, this experiment to prove that sound requires a medium to propagate. Propagate means uh, transfer lah. To, uh, from one one object to another to the listener okay so we have a bell inside a bell jar so the bell jar is um is made to become vacuum here inside okay uh, can the the sound cannot travel through vacuum so here they get a glass jar just now in it, this is the bell. Okay, at first we have air inside the glass jar. So when the bell rings, okay, the listener can uh, hear the, the sound. Air present in the gla a glass jar, sound of bell is heard. And then the second situation, um, we have a pump plate here and then the vacuum pump. The okay, vacuum pump used to remove air inside the glass jar. Okay, when no air inside the glass jar, so inside the glass jar is vacuum, means no air. And then when the bell rings, the listener cannot sound, cannot sound, cannot hear, uh, hear any, any sound. Okay, vacuum in glass jar, sound of bell is not heard. Sound is transferred very rapidly in solid compared to liquids and gases. So, uh, in solid, okay, the movement of the sound wave is faster compared to the, the gas. Okay, this is the example. Look at the video here. So, imagine the, the gas, liquid and solid. The arrangement of particles of solid is very close to each other. Liquid has a little space. And then um, gas, gas, the space between particle is bigger. Okay, there's a lot of spaces between the particles. Okay, uh, a lot of spaces between the particles in, in gas. So when the, uh, you must imagine, lah, okay, when the sound wave okay, start to transfer, okay, because the particle of gases is very far apart, so it takes time, lah for the sound from point A to reach point B. So as you can see in the video, so it looks like this. Lah. Okay. Next, speed of transfer of sound in solid. Okay, we know that the particles of solid are arranged closely packed to each other. So vibration okay, between the solid uh, uh, what do we call it? 
okay um the vibration between the particles lah okay when the the sound is uh, transfer so the particle will vibrate and then the sound will transfer to the other end the particle arranged very close vibration cause nearby particles also vibrate and sound transferred rapidly it's what the the cut okay very near to each other so it can transfer easily and rapidly speed of transfer of sound in liquid the okay, particles are arranged loosely okay they are arranged loosely and then uh, it can cause the sound vibration transferred less rapidly okay less rapidly compared to the the solid and in gases okay the particles are arranged very far apart and it can cause the sound vibration transferred very slowly okay very slow because the particles are far apart so it takes time lah, for the the sound to transfer to the other particles but the slowly the word slowly is not as slow as what we think lah. still fast but not as fast as the in in solid okay not slowly when when you speak to someone you only can hear the person's voice after five minutes not like that lah okay still fast okay so this experiment okay, you can try to do this a plastic container filled with air and then we have a, a clock here so propagate at different speed in medium in different mediums so kita boleh tengok lah if you just put your head on the table it was a different when you heard the sound from the the plastic container filled with air okay compare the loudness of the sound produced you can you try using this air flow water okay the third characteristic sound can be reflected echo okay sound can be reflected um Usually, uh, echo can be heard in a cave or in a house without without so many furniture. Uh, so you can hear, hear your voice repeated. Nah? So we call it as echo because the sound is reflected. Hard and smooth surface are good sound reflected. That's why I said when you are in a, um, maybe this is a new house, okay, with hard and smooth surface, the the floor the and uh, the floor and then wall without any furniture so you can hear your your voice repeated okay you reflect okay this is how the reflection of sound okay to the wall to the floor to the um ceiling okay and then the back back wall in front wall so those who sit in front there uh, the person can hear the original the original signal and those at the back reflect reflected signal that's why sometimes those who sit at the back they can't hear clearly right because so many distraction with the curtain and so many things lah. books table okay even your your clothes also absorb absorb the the sound okay four sound can be absorbed okay here we have the sofa and then the carpet uh curtain okay so all these are the materials that can absorb sound Okay, soft and rough surface are good sound absorbers. Soft and rough surface are good sound absorbers. Okay, good absorbers of sound. Okay, what are the examples here? Soft and rough surface like the curtain and carpet. And actually more than this lah. 
Okay, this is the sound absorber in cinema. Okay, uh, if you notice, if you go to the cinema, you can you, you can see all these things. Okay, you will notice that the seat for the uh, the seat is made up of cushion. Okay, soft cushion to absorb absorb sound because the sound in the cinema, the movie produce a loud sound. Okay, because they want to give a real effect for the um for those who watch the the movie okay and then the wall also if you touch the wall also have like sponge inside okay used to absorb also absorb the the sound and the carpet okay sound absorber in studio studio also have a sound absorber Okay, this is example only. Okay, and then uh, this activity to prove that sound can be reflected and absorbed. Okay, uh, start wash, cardboard tube. This is the soft wood and cardboard tube. Okay, so this activity actually we have in our textbook. You may refer there. Okay, how the sound is reflected and absorbed. Okay, as a conclusion, sound produced by vibration. And then no uh, needs no, needs a medium to travel. Okay, sound needs a medium to travel. It can travel through solids, liquid and gases and cannot travel through vacuum. And the sound also can be reflected, echo or absorbed. 